what are the qualities, the fundamental qualities that are universal qualities in our experience of this cycle, this transformative cycle of the development of consciousness and our spirit body? Living. We are in a living universe. We're living beings. By definition, if there's life in the universe, the universe is alive. We know on a quantum level, there's, there's no separation between the, the quantum that is a collapse of a waveform that we has a centeredness, a presence here now, but yet it, its field reaches the entire universe. It's not separate. Or the, the, the proton that has the presence of all protons within it, and how it can, we can have this knowledge of each other, of, of gravity and connectedness that, that doesn't take time to travel. Uh, it's, it's beyond the speed of light. It actually travels into the future and the past as well as being here now, simultaneously in the universe. The, the, there's Russian research on, on uh, scalar waves that, that documents that they can take an image of the sun where, it is, where we see it, but also where it actually is, and, act, and another image of it where it will be if light and electromagnetism could travel in reverse time. And there's so many evidences of reverse time being real. It's just that the ego experiences our navigation in forward time. But our future self, which can be present to us right now if our ego allows it, it opens the, the gate, opens the door, uh, that future self can be present here now. And that's our guardian angel, in my view, uh, that helps us to make the right choices based on the future as well as the ego from the past. In, in, in Egypt, ancient Egypt, they asked the question of where, what's, where do I come from in space and time? I know where I come from in space. I come from back there where I can't see clearly moving forward into what I do see clearly. And they said, what's the nature of time? What do I see clearly in time? I see the past. That must be where I'm going. And what I don't see clearly is the future. That must be where, as a spirit, as a consciousness, where I come from. Very fascinating. And, and we're seeing the truth of that in the clinical theory of everything. We incorporate that, that idea <clears throat> as a meaningful meta perspective to understand who we are. So we're living in a living universe made of living entities down to the smallest, smallest subatomic particle is still a living entity. It's, it has consciousness. It's a fractal of the divine consciousness where it wouldn't have knowledge and coherence of how to be what it is and to maintain that, that essence, that presence without change. It has memory. It has coherence in time and space. And that's a quality of living. In the heart of the central energetic source of all these spheres of consciousness that we develop. And so we have the quality of source. When we're in our heart, we're in the correct source that connects and links the whole, as opposed to being in our head separate from the heart, where we're, we're not grounded in the rest of the body. We're not integrated. In the earth element, we have the quality of sentience, of thought. We're in a sentient universe and we are sentient beings. In the water element, it's the fractal quality of these bifurcations of choice. The universe is made up of all of our choices. We're co-creating it. It's we're a microcosm of the macrocosm. We're navigating, we're all navigating in the same space-time, and there's infinite potential. So together we can create a more harmonic whole we go to the, the wood element and we have the holographic quality. Holograms are made by light and we have the light element in wood. And uh, then we go back and complete the, the Ouroboros, the ring, the infinite cycle, back to the metal element with the, the uh, universal, the quality of universality itself, of transcendence.